so that we can have a kind of cooperation when it comes to prayer. We need each other. No one can stand alone. When I was reading this prayer request, especially for family matters, I've discovered that many people are going through stress and depression because of family issues. And uh, I would like to recommend to anyone who is going on through tough times, you may not find a counselor or a person who will listen to you because listening is an art. Not everyone who knows how to listen, but if you don't get anyone to counsel you or to listen, we have Jesus. Hallelujah. Just find a time. Close your door. Just make a picture of Jesus in front of you. Then talk to him. Tell him everything. And when you get up out of your knees, believe that God is going to do something. Because if you will not do this, and you will be depending on people to help you, it will be very tough for you. But we have Jesus who is there for us always. One of the prayer requests is from someone who says that I need prayers because my parents have been separated for a long time. I wish God could unite them again. Another one says, I would like to have a special prayer for my family. In other words, He's not ready to mention the things which she's going through. One's prayer of peace between my husband and I. Needs prayer for, let me read this again. Needs prayer for the broken marriage after six years. This is tough. Broken marriage after six years. The other one says, Pastor, I just need prayers for my family to overcome challenges. We can stand up and pray for our friends, just a silence prayer for a few seconds, and then I will finish. You can pray for them now. Our dear loving Father, we are standing before you, our King, Father like you. Everyone who is going through suffering, separation, divorce, psychological torture because of maybe fighting among parents, we bring all of these needs on our hand. May you heal them May you touch the broken hearts. May you bring peace to them. And let them feel your presence, Father. We know sometimes devil is using these things to get doors 
and to destroy families, but you are the healer. And thank you, Father, because you don't only hear what we say, but you read the heart language. And you can do more than we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Last evening, some of our viewers said, Pastor, it was as if last evening you were talking more of economic matters than family matters. But there is no family without good economy. Hallelujah. Tonight I would like to present to you a subject. Are you looking for the right partner? Remember I said that when I was beginning this presentation here, I, I said that God will not choose for you but God will present to you are we together so God will present to you and then you will make your own choice so don't expect that God will tell you you must marry this one no 